He won the first heat. He'll be one to watch in this. Yellow lights are out. Heat number two of the production stands. Prelude, precursor before their state title in it. Shane Wilder makes the best of the jump. Trent Claybrook was on the outside. And the 21 car was a little bit tardy off the start and now feels the pressure of Gage Price on the inside. Michael Clark on the outside, three wide, as Clark and Claybrook nearly have a coming together. But out in front, Shane Wilde, he did this in the opening heat as they battled further back as Clark and Claybrook come together again. The two C's are really showing that there's no love lost between them. Both drivers from Albany and threading through the middle now comes the 15 of Gage Price. Price looks to the inside of Michael Clark. A bit of a rut starting to form in turn two, though it doesn't unsettle him too much. But out in front, there's no unsettling this guy. Whoop! As I speak, he had a big moment. He got unsettled there. Did Shane Wilde in the Wild Avocados number two? It didn't slow him down though. He's got three or four car lengths between himself and Michael Clark, who's clear for second. The battle for third is where we watch as here comes. Gage Price on the outside of Trent Claybrook. Claybrook hugs the curb line, has a bit of a mid-corner push in the 21 car, doesn't, tries to avoid contact with Price, who's now clear in third. And here comes Stephen Pearce and the 92 of Shane Devonshire. It's like an invasion of Albany. Drivers here as the two of them have come together over there. Claybrook's in trouble. Stephen Pierce was being polite, trying to get out the way and drilled him at the backside because he slowed down. But out in front, it's the hometown hero, Shane Wilde, who's going to put together two from two. He won't be headed from here, you wouldn't think. Normally has been racing street stocks. Now in the production stand ranks of recent times. And he's showing us that he might be an early favourite come the state title at the end of January. Shane Wilde, your leader. Michael Clark's in more trouble than the early settlers. He's stuck out at Botany Bay at the moment. He slows down into turn number one and two. He'll try and get the car off. That leaves Gage Price in second. Clark is clear now. Gage Price is second. Third place, Shane Devonshire in 92. Fourth place is Stephen Pearce in 75. He's back after a trip up north during the winter months up to Broome and Derby. Behind him is Trent Claybrook. In the PB Fabrications, number 21, Wayne Leviston in 86. I don't even think I've called his name in this one. He stayed out of trouble and he's there battling it out with Trent Claybrook. But out in front, once again, Shane Wilde is putting in an absolute clinic tonight. He won the opening heat convincingly. He's going to do the same in this one. There's no doubt about it though. Gage Price is not going to let him have it all his own way. The totally independent tyre service and mechanical number 51 is going to push him right to the line, but it won't be enough. Shane Wilde, your lead up and your winner in heat two of the productions. Second place is the 15 of Gage Price. Third place goes the way of the 92 car of Shane Devonshire. Back to Stephen Pearce, Wayne Leviston and the 21 of, Mitchell, of Trent Claybrook. The one car that didn't complete the distance was Michael Clark from Albany in 28. And Jackson Derrick was a non-starter in car number 27. Now, it was a bit early before. Coming up next will be heat number three of the Bachelor Industries WA.